if you are here and you are like me, you are obsessed with freedom and you want to be able to work from anywhere. You are ambitious, you have a high praise for freedom and you are very aware that prosperity is nothing to be ashamed of. And you're probably here because you want to run a digital business that, you know, it's not without its stresses and moments of still fun to run, still highly rewarding. And even if you have a physical business, you might be thinking of turning or having a hybridized version of your business, a digitalized version of your business. And specifically, today we are going to talk about the courses, digital courses, the mini trainings that you can strategically offer to your clients and they have a very specific role in the journey of growth for your clients as well as in your offer funnel in the way that you're going to raise your LTV, your lifetime value. So the average ticket someone spends in your business. If you have a physical business, you know how limited you are, or service-based business, even if it's digital, anything that places you physically with time or your actual body into the relationship with the clients. There are many weird noises happening in my house right now. Come on, now that I'm recording? This means that maybe you cannot physically be in the place of vulnerability your client has. Maybe there is an issue that you cannot physically solve for everyone, okay? People might come to your business with many issues. And I've heard from followers where they were like, man, two situations. The first one, I wish I had not taken that client specifically service-based business designers, for example. I've been there as well. Because they were not ready to actually have, I don't know, a brand designed. Or they shouldn't be spending that much on social media, yet they should be focusing on actually getting sales. And then there is the other situation where maybe people are waiting for your product and they wish they could offer something else so if you have a physical shop and you're shipping products away or maybe clients are not using your products correctly and you're trying to instruct them on social media and you could easily do that by offering an upsell during their checkout so offering them a digital product that they can watch and consume while they wait for the physical product. Of course, that works better on e-commerce, but you can also pair this with a physical business. So that would be the role, the strategic role of a $97 mini course because they provide a mini, not I don't wanna call it a mini transformation. They provide a very punctual transformation to your client and they don't necessarily exclude the need for your service although although i'm gonna say this i would refer i would prefer to not offer my service to everyone and we are gonna talk about why so where your feet can't physically step in to solve someone's vulnerability your product can your digital product is able to do that in scale provide a transformation to people in scale and that's what we are here for that's what i do for my clients my production clients and for my students so there is two there is a, a backstage version of me and there is a front stage version of me which is what you see okay the backstage version of me you do not see because i'm backstage of other people's launches for example 
I get involved into my mentees launches. So I design the launches for them and then I help them through the execution. And I know for a lot of people, the urge to offer services, for example, is huge. They want to take on every freaking client they see. And I've been that person as well. I was guilty of this when I opened my first design studio. I've had two studios. One, it's technically the same studio. It just develop, uh, developed to a more strategic took a, a turn it didn't fully pivot i wouldn't call it a pivot but it took a strategic turn and in the start 10 years ago i was doing exactly this i was taking every single client that i could because i needed them only without realizing that i should be charging a lot more even though i was charging a good amount just not enough not high ticket you need to remember that this is your individual performance as an expert when you are working on on one on one so hard for, for me to say we spoke and i'm gonna repeat this as many times as needed it is elegant to select the word elegant comes from the latin elegance which means to select to elect so when we think about a service that you are charging the title of this video 97 you are not being elegant and elegant is not being premium necessarily or luxurious is simply to know who to work with so you end up taking on a lot of clients that don't respect your time because now they have a cheap worker doing everything for them you are overworked not earning enough you are hating the relationship that you have with your clients but you still want to help people you still want to be present into that person's vulnerability you want to have a role into the change that that person needs and that's natural if you are serving if you're offering a service products physical products also take part on this but the digital product in that case they sort of elevate that experience it isn't so much about solving some of them are but a large majority a large majority of commodities of things that we buy for a house you are just adding an extra bit of value. If you sell things for the kitchen, you're probably offering a recipe video, a course, I mean. You're offering courses on cooking or something else. Then it's not so much a big transformation, but it's, it is an added value to that type of product you are selling. And to serve means to be of use to deliver a transformation to deliver change it comes from the middle english servan or however that was pronounced back then to serve to be of use to guard to be a guardian it comes from the idea of um, the shepherds 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 that's how you pronounce and what do you do to your client when you are offering a service that they are not ready for you are not being of good use as a professional you need to learn to select who you are selling to you are the expert in the table you are the one that should be taking control of that negotiation not the other way around so you are delivering serving something that they don't need at that stage of their journey most likely for a price that isn't serving you either so you are charging a hundred two hundred five hundred a thousand for a product that should be solving a punctual issue that they are executing themselves and not you on an exclusive setting on a one-on-one 
setting. Think about this. Let this sink for the love of God. You need to understand how to work a product funnel if you want to go anywhere with your service-based business, with your product-based business. I gave me allergies. So in terms of your entire product belt, as it is customary in this channel, we are going to talk about that first video. You go back to the first video in this series channel, whatever we are going to call it, and you're going to watch it. It's going to be here somewhere as well. You're going to watch that and you're going to see what a product funnel, I call it a product belt, looks like. And now we are just zooming in in the $97. An elegant business model elevates people's real problems to help transform them without overwhelming them on their journey. Because a journey of change is a painful, painful journey. And if you throw everything at them, or if you take, well, their money, their time, their presence, too early on, what you are doing is that you are not elevating. You're not really solving their issue. You're doing the opposite. You're creating more issues. You are taking their resources away from where they should be putting them. Maybe they have a resistance to change. Maybe they have a resistance to a certain solution and when you have a very good 97 course on that pain that they have you are taking away the resistance you are taking away and of course you have to work through those insatisfaction factors with your copywriting with your conversation with them but when you have a really good punctual product what ends up happening naturally i'm gesticulating here with my hand but is that you generate need for other products you start helping them gain that satisfaction of conquering something of achieving something and of feeling capable people like to feel capable and they like we like to feel like we are useful somehow and when they are doing that by themselves they attach that good feeling to their mentor to the people teaching them instead of hey i should have not hired you at this time and then you create friction or you are in that situation where they are not paying you enough and there is friction and there is that negative taste and they are not going to come back they are not going to come back and what you want to do is the opposite, right? You want them to come back. So those courses, they solve, they show. <laughs> so those courses, they solve one issue at a time. Differently from methods and formulas and more complex um, courses, which are more advanced. Go watch that first video. You're going to understand what I'm talking about. These are called the open wallets. They are not there to provide an extensive series of micro transformations because the way that you build a method and a, a method is essentially a process people can replicate. So I could, I will, for example, sell my infinite product formula or method. For example, I don't know why I call it a formula. For example, my infinite product method is something, a series of phases with processes and tasks that will help people go from A to B as many times as needed. So it's something that is able to be replicated. It's not a skill that you acquire. It's a method. You apply it, and then you apply it again, and you do it again. And so, I forgot the word. <laughs> so it's something, for example, that I can use with my mentees because it's a method. They, I, I apply the method and they all get 
the result at the end, the same result at the end, even if it looks different. Okay, it can look different, but it's the same result. So differently from, and that's where people sort of seen in creating courses, they don't understand the structure, how to format the course. So think about the things that your client, customer, student, that's the word I want, need to know. Because at that stage, they're not your client yet, they are your student. You are still taking them through that journey. They are at the very beginning of their journey. They just bought their first product with you, Open Wallet, and they need to have certain basic information before they can go and get your method or your more extensive course or even your service. So think about the things that they need to know in order to unlock that skill. And that's basically the beginning of the course you're gonna sell for 97. The beginning and then the middle, you provide them with an exercise. You provide them with a very, not so technical, but applicable. You will give them a homework, a project. There we go. I was trying to remember this word for the longest time. Jesus Christ. You provide them with a project that they can execute, aka what they were trying to hire you for. It's a good idea to create something like that. Where they are able to work themselves through it. DIY, okay? Your open wallet has to be a DIY version of your service. You are by no means expecting them to have excellent results. If you're a designer, you're not expecting to turn your client to a designer. You want them to get their first logo out because that's the main thing they're going to need in the start of a business. They don't need a huge palette of colors, a brand messaging kit. They don't need a brand workshop. That's the mistake a lot of people make. Force down into people's throats, those poor business owners shining out there, small business in a tight budget, doing things where they should be bootstrapping. In my boot camp, I had a two hour course on how to create your first logo because I did not want people to spend time on things that are not consequential for the start of a business. I know that's gonna butt hurt. A lot of people are gonna get butt hurt out of this. I don't care, I've been there 10 years ago. I went to university for this. Ah! This gives you a business that now has a range of offers. Now you are able to create bundles and funnels to elevate a client's experience, to have them coming back to you because they went through a transformation. They attached that good feeling to you and you did not create friction. At some point, at some point, they are gonna need to create a more specific, a more professional version of it. And they're gonna come to who? To the person that they trust, to the person that they've built a relationship with through courses, through live streams, through your content, through all the touch points that you provide them with, that you serve them with. Like and subscribe. I'm mad. <laughs> the two hours here.